Right now we just have the animation looping at a constant rate. If we click the playback controller, you can see it's running at 24 frames a second and it's about two and a half seconds. And you can control the speed here. You can crank it up or slow it way down. And the nice thing about this is even at 9%, there's no jankiness because it's able to interpolate between all the keyframes. So that's a really nice thing about framed animation or keyframed animation. You can also trim the animation right here. But we're going to switch up the setup just a bit. So let's select this model. And in our animation, let's create a patch. So now all the animation that this model has has to go through here. So let's drag in the animation itself. And we need an animation player. So it's asking for an animation asset and the progress. So if you select this, you can see it says animation asset right here, which is what we need. And we should be able to plug this in. And if we switch this progress number up, you can see it's animating along the animation. So it looks like this is working so far. And if we want to recreate what was already happening, we can just make a loop patch here. And we can turn the progress into this progress here. So now we have exactly what we had before, especially if we change this duration to around 2.5. But let's make this more interactive. So we're going to use mouth openness to control the speed at which this loops. So let's right click and type open to get the mouth open patch. And we do need a face for this to work. So let's add a face tracker up here. And then we can just drag this down in here. And that'll make these three patches, which we're familiar with. The face finder finds the faces. The face select will grab one of the faces. And then the face tracker patch here will give us some information about it. So we just need the face itself. And now if I open my mouth, you can see that value changes. So I think if the user opens their mouth, the animation should play faster. So we need this loop animation to be smaller, which makes it faster when this number is larger. So the simple way to do this is to add a subtract patch. And the first value can be the same as this duration. So we'll set to 2.5. And then for the second value is how much we're going to subtract. So we can actually just use the openness of the mouth. So if I open my mouth all the way, this should be close to one, which will make this value about 1.5. So let's try this out. I'm going to hook this up. And nothing changes because we're still using that 2.5 value. But now if I open my mouth, this number should get smaller and this should all go faster. And if that's a little too subtle, we can add a multiplication between the openness and the subtract just to make the openness value a little bit larger. So we can multiply by two. So now the largest this value could ever be is two instead of one. So I'll test this out. And for this, you can use any value really. You could have head rotation controlling this or you know, eyebrows raised or head shakes or pretty much anything. But in this case, mouth openness is just a nice simple way to do it. So up next, we're gonna add a helmet to this figure so we're not totally headless anymore.